The state is campaigning hard for a strong turnout in this Sunday's referendum on Cuba's new constitution. Billboards, banners and even buses are urging the population to vote yes. Jose Luis Estrada, a student at the University of Havana, is keen to vote. I am studying law and I understand almost all the articles. I agree with the majority of them and I'll be voting yes. He says the new constitution is better than the current one and gives Cubans more rights. It guarantees individual rights, for example, habeas corpus, which stipulates the principle of innocence until proven guilty. The last time Cuba held a referendum on its constitution was during the Cold War in 1976. According to electoral authorities, 98% of the electorate turned out to vote, and 98% of those who voted, voted yes. But since then, Cuba has changed. Many Cubans today are more assertive. A significant swathe of the population says it will vote no or abstain. The environmental activist Isbel Diaz is one of them. I am not going to vote. I am not against the new constitution itself. I am against the process by which the new constitution was created. From August to November last year, the state organized popular consultations in which people gave feedback on the proposed constitution. In December, Cuba's National Assembly released some of the consultation's results and announced which suggestions would be incorporated into the final document, a process that Isbel found wanting. For example, we don't know how many people requested direct presidential elections. However, the state did not give the number of people who spoke about gay marriage. When you have all the information and you decide to give some information but not other, that's manipulation. The Communist Party hopes a strong showing will consolidate and legitimize the revolution. Analysts predict the yes vote will win. The question is... By how much? Ed Augustin, TRT World, Havana.